Hello everybody, it's me, Granite Peach, aka Under Lodge Stables, and I'm back with uh, this uh, month's uh, video that I said I would be doing, my uh, swap meet haul. So I think I'm going to start over here with this stuff off my nightstand. I actually picked up all this stuff off the, uh, the free table. It's a table where people could put stuff that they're just looking to get rid of. So I got four Briarfist driving forward magnets. Because that's really cool. And I really like the design, so. And then I got uh, these neat little guys here. Because I like to make little keychains or dangly ornaments out of them with like beads and stuff. So. These guys are a lot of fun. It's a little silver one there. The cool thing is these actually stand up. So I'm actually debating making ornaments out of these because I've <laughs> never actually had many of these that stand up. This one's really cute actually. Little mini mini Wixom unicorn. Super cute. I kind of would love to see if they did realistic colors on this little Wixom mold. That is just too cute. Love the mold. Only have two of the traditionals though because they take up so much room. Mini Winnie I may conga though because not normally a Mini Winnie person but I'm really starting to like these guys. And this one is a little mini, uh, I think this mold is called Liam or something like that. So... That's those three little guys, and they literally stand perfectly on their own, which I've never had many ways that stand on their own, so I might just keep them OF. Um, got some cool stickers here off the free table, too. Got this really neat one here. <sighs> Nothing on the back, just the uh, paper pads on. <sighs> Forgive any background noise you hear. It's it's raining out, so if you can hear that, just we're getting a bit of rain. And I got this cool sticker here. I think I'm not sure. This maybe an Appaloosa? No, I don't think so. I'm not sure what breed this is, but I really, really liked this sticker, so I just had to have it. Uh, this little fella I picked up off the uh, free table as well. This cute little jumping Palomino guy. Unfortunately, he's missing his stand, which I think is maybe why he was free. So, I'm thinking, find out the name of this little stable mate mold, and I may reach out to Briar about Maybe get in a replacement stand because it really is a cute little stable mate. And then the last thing I got for free was this cool little tile coaster here Factory Ponies Live. A show that occurs here on VG10. And this is actually a really nice coaster with a um, that cork on the back there so it doesn't slide around. This is really, really cool, and I'm so glad I have this, because oh, I was literally about to drop a buttload of money to have a custom model horse-related uh, coaster made to put my drinks on, but now I don't have to. So, yeah, not really a whole lot I got for free, but pretty happy with my little freebies I picked up. So then, we're going to come over here now to my bed. And these are all the things that I bought or traded for. So then, uh, more stickers. I bought these for $5 to uh, put on my uh, Briarfest bank. But I don't know. They're, they're so cool that... Um, <laughs> I may have to just put them in my sticker book because my Briarfist bank is literally just a cardboard box which I'm gonna have to throw away eventually. So these are so cool I kind of 
really don't want to have to throw them away. So those might actually go in my sticker book despite my earlier plans. I picked up this little guy too. He was uh, brand new in his packaging with his little tag and stuff. I just took all that off so I can display him because he is so cute. This is Pal's Palette from Briarcus 2021. And this guy is number 317 out of 2500. So he is super cute. And he completes my collection of the 2020 Briarfist plushies because I have all of them from 2020 up to current. Well, minus this guy, I had all of them, but now I have all of them. Now I have this guy in my collection. So that's super cute. Might as well show you the one small model I got. I ended up, as you saw, I got the mini um, apparition as one of my Halloween blind bags. So I was able to, at the swap meet, uh, trade him with um, Beth um, for this pretty uh, guy, girl, uh, guy <laughs> instead. I literally had to look, at, look underneath it because honestly, the actual model is a mare, but the mini version is a stallion. That's kind of cute. <sighs> this guy's actually a first for me. Uh, this guy is a WIA model. These actually hail from overseas in Germany. And currently the only authorized retailer in the United States is Triple Mountain Model Horses. Um, run by Alita. I forget her last name, but she's super nice. So I'm glad to see they're here on U.S. soil. But this one I actually traded for at the uh, swap meet. I had a Briar uh, craft kit that someone wanted. And they had this guy that they said that they would trade for it. So... I gladly did so, because I've been wanting one of these guys for a while now, so... So that's pretty awesome. And this guy here, he was originally in his box, but I had to take him out because it was just so beat up. Like, the plastic was yellowed. It was starting to really fall apart. And despite his age, being from 1996, I don't know how well you can see that, but that little of rub there. That's literally all that he got for damage, which I'm surprised at. So, I actually put a tag on him because I don't remember what he was, but this guy is Mighty Buck. He is the 1996 Briar Tour model with only 2,500 made. I'm quite glad that I put a tag on him because I'm not really familiar with the Tour model, so... If I hadn't put a tag on him, I don't think I would have remembered who he was. But, yeah, this is a guy I actually traded for. Um, <laughs> pretty much all these I traded for, actually. The only two things I actually bought um, are Pal's Palette. I got him for $15. And these stickers I got for $5. So... I only spent twenty dollars total at the swap meet. Everything else I got through swaps, trades, partial trades. So that's Mighty Buck. And then down here we have a new addition to my <laughs> growing and illusion stallion conga. I am actually up to twelve in this mold now. Um as you can actually see over here on my headboard I Quite hardcore Kong of the Mold. So we get Prism, 70th Anniversary, Glossy, Krypton, Two Heroes, Welcome Surprises, 70th Anniversary, No Go 2, Two More Heroes, Welcome Surprises, and the original black one. So now joining that Conga, I have this beautiful pink ribbon horse here, who is absolutely gorgeous. 
I believe the person said this was a, um, a benefit model back in like 2011 or sometime around then. It was like a breast cancer benefit model. I don't know for what exactly uh, organization it was for. I would have to assume the Susan G. Komen Walk for Cancer, but I'm not sure. That's that's just the only one that I'm familiar with. So. But, well, this guy's super nice. And <laughs> you rarely see these guys come up available for purchase or trade, so I was pretty excited. And she wasn't even planning on bringing this guy or this guy here that I'll show you in a minute. But she saw a picture of my conga and she had these guys that were just sitting on the shelf not doing anything so she brought them for me and we did a trade and I am so happy that we did because this one I've only seen maybe two or three other times in stores and that's it. So that's pretty exciting. And then this guy here, he has some little dents and dots and stuff here and there, but he's actually in pretty good shape, actually. So, this guy was part of the uh, three-horse uh, Spanish family that was released through JCPenney in 2007. And he is just so pretty. He's a beautiful white bay color, so... He's just absolutely lovely. I mean, you know, despite his little shortcomings there and there, and there's another one there. Another up here on his back. I think I may still try and show this guy because he's really not in bad shape at all. I mean, this side, he's got two little tiny ones down there on his shoulder, but that's really about the extent of his flaws, like four or five blue ones on that side, two on this side. So I think I may actually still try and show this guy just because he's absolutely gorgeous. He's got beautiful coloring, phenomenal shading. So I'm not going to completely <laughs> count him out of my show. I mean, I'll give him a couple of tries. I mean, if he doesn't do super well, I'll retire him, but I'm just happy to have him to add to my uh, amazing Andalusian army over there. <laughs> so, again, uh, Pals palette I bought, the stickers I bought, the WIA I traded for. His, his name is Gustav, by the way, I just remembered that. Uh, Mini Nevermore I traded for. Traded, 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 and this one over here is a park trade, and I got one more thing to show you, but it's fragile, so I'll get that in a minute, um, but yeah, this is um, Ryan and Cadell, they are the, uh, the first release in the 2019 premiere collection. So I did a partial trade for these guys. My uh, Quasi Maximum Spino Seven Arts Surprise. I part traded for these guys. So here's their little CLA. So literally these guys came like completely wrapped up super well in their box. So quite beyond pleased with that. And I love these molds. They're just so cute. The mare is just adorable. Honestly, this one kind of reminds me of a little uh, <laughs> Connemara pony that I knew at the, uh, the barn where I used to ride. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with that for breed. I don't know. If, if she matches the breed standards closely enough, I'm not entirely sure. But there's, a, I assume that's Ryan or Ryan or how we say it. And, the, and then I would assume that this little guy here is Cadell, I would imagine. The little pole. 
she is super cute. I just love this little fella. Just so much detail in such a little hole. I mean, look at that blaze. Perfectly crisp. Same with his leg markings. I see absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. No overspray or anything. Even on the mare, actually. Because Briar's a little notorious for overspray on Pinto's, but even her cute little Sabino marking there, there's literally no overspray in it. So, alright, just uh, give me a minute and I'll go grab the other thing that I want to show you guys. Yeah, it may not look like much. It's just a little, like, box that looks like a bag kind of thing. But it's actually what's in the box bag I wanted to show you guys. There's another thing I actually part traded for at the uh, swap meet. <clears throat> this beautiful ornament here. I actually part traded for as well. So, this is literally one of only three made. Well, you told me she only made three because, well, I guess it was really hard to paint, like all the detail and stuff. So, she only made three of them, but all three are very different. So, and the cool thing is, it's literally plastic. So, I don't have to worry about it breaking or anything. It's just so incredible. I mean, look at that detail on the horse here. I wish I could. And she signed it too. I don't know if you can see that. Her signature right over there. I mean, <laughs> I forget her. I honestly forget her name. I'm, I'm not great with names, but... I am so glad that I ended up getting this because this is just, wow. This is like perfect for me because two of my biggest loves are Halloween and horses. And this basically rolls both into one. So that is pretty awesome. So uh, let me get everything together so I can give you guys a quick overview of everything that I got at the swap meet. <clears throat> so, I ended up getting all these things for free. So, those were free, the stickers were free, 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 and the four, four magnets were free as well. Uh, see, stickers were $5. He was 15 Traded for, traded for, traded for traded for, traded for. So the two Andalusians, Mighty Buck, the WIA and uh, Lil Nevermore that I traded for. This one I part traded for. So I'm happy about that actually. And these two guys I also part traded for. So Certainly not by any means a huge haul like with my little freebies and the stuff I actually bought and traded for. But um, I'm pretty happy with what I came home with. So yeah, this is Brianna Page, aka Hundred Larger Stables. Oh, until next time. Bye.